Hello again, it's Kelly Van Washinova, instructional technologist and host of the ETS series Word of the Week. So this week's Word of the Week is the word equity. So please take a listen at what some of your colleagues had to say about the word equity and then stick around for after those interviews to hear more about our upcoming ETS workshops and get a preview of next week's Word of the Week. Equity, I think, is something that we are constantly thinking about um, as faculty and administrators at Denison and constantly striving to improve and to make a basic principle of our community. I think that's something we should always continue to strive for. We should find ways to stop, stop feeling that someone else gaining equity is taking from. Equity is not taking from, equity is evening out and giving everyone opportunities. When I think of equity, I think of redistributing resources and righting historical wrongs. Fair, justice, have to work at it. And I love the way that Robert Livingston talked about concepts of equality, equity, and fairness. And he talked about equity treating people differently, but in a way that makes sense, as opposed to equality, which is giving everybody the same thing. Equity is where you're um, realizing that some people, it, the outputs depend on the inputs is another way that, that he framed it. And I just, I really appreciated his discussion of equity along with equality and fairness. One of the most basic parts of moving toward a system with greater equity, you know, is understanding other people's constraints and um, um, allowing for some breathing room. But also hopefully in the future, like, yeah, our technological and digital ways of expressing ourselves, you know, will also help to alleviate some of the inequities. So in pedagogy, equity is differentiation in how you teach. So equity is flattening the syllabus. Equity is about not making any one assignment so big and so important that it can destroy a person's grade or a person's fun or enjoyment of the course. Equity is about um, sort of making sure everybody is learning in the best way possible, setting up the conditions for everyone to learn in an effective and um, in an effective and also a uh, unstressful way. Equity connects in a large part to what it means to be a, a relevant, inclusive teacher. Uh, because I think as a teacher, I, I've always been aware that people learn in different ways and that it's a healthy thing to have a lively teaching practice uh, to pursue different teaching strategies. You know, I, I can see how, how focusing on what we learned in regard to equity in the past year would, leave, would lead us all to inclusive pedagogy. Um, when I'm thinking of my students, I think of individual differences and I feel we all work towards the same goal, but keeping in mind the individual differences and how to, to address that. So they, they have to go hand in hand with the common goal of that's what we want to reach at the end. In the pandemic, how do we create equity among students? And, and so I think from that, I think a lot of faculty have an increased awareness of the differences from um, of student backgrounds um, in a new new way. Um, I think it brought it even more into our, our awareness. And so how then do we as faculty um, hold on to that and use that to inform our teaching moving forward? All of our coaches in the Knowlton Center, we talk a lot about um, how can we make, um, create access to all opportunities and make sure that all students are aware of the opportunities and can be limitless in what they're thinking about doing and the things they're pursuing um, in the future. So um, equity is a big component of our work and 
I think that um, we're doing a great job of it here at Denison. Equity, I think it's you know become apparent that maybe we don't always all have the same level of uh, access to resources, whatever that may be. And so um, having a shared um, uh, access to all the things that help us become fulfilled uh, in our lives in our academic lives or professional lives, um, we all should have uh, the same level of access and equity in the resources that are being shared around campus and in offices and in classrooms. You know, the pandemic is a stress test and it really revealed some places where um, across the students that work and, and the colleagues that I have, there are different places where um, we have challenges and this notion of equity needs to kind of be revisited in that light in the sense that, you know, I can't think of, you know, treating everybody the same is going to be equitable, you know, that I need to provide opportunities for everybody to do what they're capable of. And some cases that may mean doing different things in different situations for different people and kind of coming to terms with that and understanding what that means for um, for my teaching, I, I think is, is kind of important. We can't forget that equity means more than just um, access to the technology, access to the classroom, access to the professor. Um, we need to continue to be aware of the different circumstances from which different students come, come from, what their home lives may be like, um, what their previous experiences may be like, and how those, those things factor into their experience in the classroom and, and what we provide them to be sure that all of our students get that same, um, the same opportunity to learn. Equity is very much tied to community and how we value each other. Um, I think that equity is humane and equity is about sharing and equity values individual differences and needs. Um, and in, in fact, that's the only way we can have community. Thank you for watching this week's Word of the Week. Next week, we'll be taking a look at the word transformation. And as you can see, I've been transforming my new office here on campus, and I'm ready to start meeting with everyone to discuss your fall class plans. Don't forget that ETS will meet with you on Meet or Zoom, or we can do in-person meetings as well. So please don't hesitate to reach out. Also go ahead and click on the link in the YouTube description below to find out more about our workshops that start tomorrow. Thank you. What do you think about when you hear the word technology?